Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. We are on episode number two of season five of The Family Chantel. This episode is called A Madness Most Discreet and I feel like TLC misspelled discreet if I'm not mistaken or maybe they misspelled it on purpose, I don't know. But let's get right into this recap. So Chantel says she's so pissed about Pedro and his crappy attitude at that meeting with a realtor in the last episode. She says she's feeling like selling this house and having to deal with Pedro is going to be hell on earth. She moved back in with her parents at age 32. Chantel says she loves her parents, but they're constantly talking. Mostly Karen, probably. Chantel says sometimes she needs time alone and she's not getting it in that house. So now here we have dad, mom, Winter, and Chantel in the kitchen. Mom asks Chantel how she slept. And Chantel says, well, it's a twin bed, smaller than I'm used to. Girl, you could have been sleeping outside. Better be happy because I know damn well I can't go back to my mama house. So, <laughs> so you better be happy that you got a place to sleep that ain't outside. Karen says that having Chantel and Winter back living at the house has been quite the adjustment, but she says it's been a pleasure. And for some reason, Chantel rolls her eyes after she says that. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that was about. Karen says she still remembers when Chantel moved out to be with him with a lowercase h. Um, Karen, the only person that we're talking about with an uppercase h is the Lord, and we're not talking about the Lord right now. So I, <laughs> I get what you were trying to do there, but girl, please. Karen says Chantel got the apartment by herself, his immigration papers, his plane ticket. She says that Chantel gave Pedro everything, but that's what he wanted. Karen says that Chantel should have listened to her warnings way back when because mom knows best. And Chantel says hindsight is 2020. It always is. And sometimes, uh, you know, whatever is in front of your eyes, clear, natural sight, you're just in denial. You see the truth, but you just don't want to admit it. Chantel says back when she was young and naive, she wanted to trust her husband because she loved him. Karen asks Chantel if she's still upset about the realtor. And Winter asks, what did Pedro have to say to you after all this time? I think the realtor asked why we were selling the house and we both mentioned divorce and he said, thank God. Oh, he said Ew. that? Chantel says that goes to show you that Pedro hasn't changed because if he had changed, he would have offered up some type of apology. Karen says, well, he can't do any of that because he's heartless and him and his family are going to get what's coming to them. Chantel says that they're putting the house on the market this week so she's going to have a yard sale today to get rid of all the things that can't fit into her mom's house or that pedro left behind chantelle says as per the divorce she was able to keep everything that's in the house and all pedro wanted was his tools even though he doesn't have a yard wait a minute pedro why wouldn't you mention the gaming chair your baby your love the love of your life why why would you not mention the chair at all Chantel is like he wanted his tools and he doesn't even have a yard but wait maybe he's trying to garden in some other women's yards <laughs> god these people are funny so Karen is over here laughing with her petty self and says she takes great satisfaction that she can get rid of everything that Pedro left at the house look at there look at there what do I see Pedro's favorite things Pedro's stupid gaming chair so Chantel says Pedro was always playing video games and when he finally did start doing things and going out it wasn't with her so Karen says oh well <laughs> Karen says he left his stupid ass chair why are you so angry at this chair <laughs> It's so comical to me how mad she is at this damn chair. It's a chair. I understand you don't like the person that owns it, but damn. Karen says that this chair is going to the highest bidder. And uh, she says that a nice man came over and inquired about the chair. And she made him a deal that he could not refuse. I told him he could have that chair for $1. So Pedro is headed to the house. Chantel has moved out and he's going to retrieve his tools. He says in the divorce agreement, he gets the tools. I don't know why. Again, I have no idea why Pedro did not mention this damn chair, his ever loving, everlasting, everlasting love chair. He never mentioned it. Pedro says that Chantel decided to take the TV, the bedroom set, the living room set, but he decided to take the tools and his fertilizer. Pedro says that Chantel told his lawyer that she put everything in the garage for him. 
So Pedro says in the settlement, he didn't want to be petty. If she wanted to take the couch, she can take the couch and she can take everything else that she wanted, but he really wanted to have his tools. Hey, I needed some music for this. Okay, so back when Pedro says he was little Pedro on the farm, he had his cows, his horse, and when he was little on the farm, he never even believed he would have his own house with a yard. Pedro says he misses the yard and he loves doing yard work and his tools are a very special thing to him right now. So Pedro says he, he misses the yard of this house here that they're about to sell and he loved doing yard work. Pedro says that the computer chair was a special addition. The chair cost him a lot of money and he loves the chair and he cannot wait to get it back. Um, about that, about that, Pedro. <laughs> I'm really sorry to tell you, but you're about to get a little unpleasant surprise there. Okay, I'm really sorry. Pedro says that he is going to be a little sad to be in the empty house and he thought in the beginning that they were going to have a life together and so he's here in the garage and he says, you know, it's a mess. And then he sees the yard sale sign. Pedro says he loves the house so much, but maybe that big house was a mistake. He says that maybe they weren't ready for the house at the time. He says it's a big house, a big responsibility for two people, and you have to move as a team. Pedro claims that Chantel never saw them as a team. He reminisces about the yard and how him and Chantel had a lot of plans for the yard. Pedro says that he has a lot of guilt because he broke Chantel's heart and finally admitting to something, damn it. And Pedro says a long time ago him and Chantel were happy but her family controlled her and made her hate him. Well, Pedro says that was just too much. The, you know, the family, basically, her family was just too much and he had to get out from that. And Pedro says, what was he supposed to do? be in a bad marriage all his life. So Pedro says he sees his tools, but he doesn't see his gaming chair. He says that Chantel knows how much love he has for that gaming chair. So Pedro says the chair was his favorite colors, red, white, and blue, the color of the American flag. Pedro says that Chantel is very vengeful. Pedro says this is a warning to him in selling the house with Chantel and that Chantel sold that chair to be petty. He says selling the house will be harder than he thought. But he is very relieved that now the house can be put on the market. He can visit the Dominican Republic and spend time with his family. Pedro says he couldn't leave the country in the middle of the divorce because he didn't trust what the family Chantel would do regarding his immigration status. He said that they might possibly try to keep him out of the country. He says that after signing the paperwork, he feels more free to leave the country, but he's still a little afraid. He doesn't know what the crazy family is going to do. And Pedro says he also doesn't know when Chantel's family is going to stop trying to ruin his life. Forgive me, I will not be talking too much about these people because I don't like his mama and I don't like his sister. We are here in the DR, which is what I'm going to say because, you know, it's very hard to say Dominican Republic fast. All right. Anyway, we're here in the DR. Pedro's mama, Lydia, is learning English. She says her only goal is to marry an American and she won't stop until she gets it. Lady, you know what? Go for your dreams. I don't even care anymore. Now, Lydia, good Lord, you're very delusional. And it's sad when you're 56 years old and I looked it up. She's 56. It's sad when you're 56 years old and you're still delusional. But uh, yeah, anyway, she says her reasoning for wanting to marry an American is because her friends told her. Listen to this. Her friends told her that Americans are good husbands. They're faithful. Are you serious? I'm not saying they're all cheaters, but girl, there are cheaters in America. There are cheaters in there are cheaters in the Dominican Republic and everywhere all over the world. Okay, and um, you think Americans are more faithful? Girl, you gonna find out soon enough. She says that American men are more dedicated, and I'm not trying to talk bad on American men. I am American. I live in America. Okay, I love American men, but I'm just saying. This ain't fully true. That's all I'm saying. All right. She says they're fully dedicated. They help with the household chores. Ch child. I'm sorry. Lydia says it's not like some Dominicans. She says some Dominican men are womanizers. Okay. Same with American men. And uh, she goes into telling us about her kid's dad. And um, how did we get here? This show is called The Family Chantel and Lady. I don't give a crap about your baby daddy, about your love life. I don't even care that you're learning English, lady. I just don't care about you, okay? I'm sorry, but I don't care. We're here with Pedro. 
Patrick says he hasn't seen Chantel in months, but the other day they had that meeting at the realtor's office. And are we going to talk about that meeting this entire episode? Because if that's the case, y'all could have just called this part two. He said the meeting didn't go so well. Patro, the meeting didn't go well because you were being a freaking petty. You were being so petty and annoying, okay? Chantel was keeping her composure. You, on the other hand, you were being an a-hole, and you know you were. I, I, do you even realize when you're being an a-hole, or is this something you just don't realize? You just do it. He says Chantel wants to sell the house for cheap. He says she wants to get a real estate agent to take that $25,000 commission that he cannot get off his mind. And um, Pedro, this is what you agreed to. I am sick and tired of you complaining about it. If you didn't agree with it, you shouldn't have signed off. I'm not going to mention this again, and I'm going to need you to shut the hell up about it, okay? Just shut up. Pedro says that after seeing Chantel in the meeting, he kind of feels sad for her because she's still with a childish behavior. And Pedro, you're just as much childish. If she's childish, you're childish because you're, you're even more childish than she is. Pedro says he wants to tell her to wake up. That house is an asset that they built together. He says that it's his money there too. Pedro says that Chantel wants to burn her past. She wants to burn you. She wants to light you up. Okay, she wants to put you in the fire with gasoline draws on. That's what she really wants to do. Okay. <laughs> I can see her dousing some gasoline on you. Okay, I'm just sorry. I know that's illegal. I'm not saying I want her to set him on fire. Well, I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm, and it's funny because I because you know I'm not serious. Y'all know I'm not serious. I'm not trying to say that. Okay, I'm not trying to say that. That's illegal. Okay. Well, what I'm saying is she doesn't like you very much right now. And I don't I don't blame her. I mean, I don't want to set you on fire. But um, you're annoying. Okay? You're very annoying. Pedro says that Chantel wants to burn her past, but that doesn't mean that you're going to burn my asset with it. Pedro says that he's also been annoyed at Chantel because she sold his beloved chair. All right, so Pedro decides to video chat Chantel. After not speaking to her in all that time, now you want to call her every five minutes. You know what? Shut the hell up. God, I would have hung up on you. I wouldn't even give you the time of mother freaking day, Pedro. Okay? The only thing we have to talk about is the house. And we're not talking about an agreement you signed off on. So what else are you going to talk about? What else you want to talk about? Nothing. Okay, bye. So Chantel answers the phone. Chantel says, what do you want? And Pedro, here we go a mother freaking again, bringing up that he should sell the house. He could get them more money. Chantel says that she doesn't trust him and that she doesn't trust that he would have done it the legal way. I notice here that Chantel looks very different. Not bad. She still looks pretty. But I, mean, I think maybe she doesn't have a lot of makeup on or something. Do you ladies know you look better without makeup? Or, I mean, this is just my opinion. Pedro says in the end it's our money and he goes on to tell us in the confessional that Chantel's jealousy and distrust was one of the reasons that they split. Um, Pedro, you never gave her a reason to distrust you, Pedro? Let me um, jog your memory real quick. I know dance very well. So Pedro claims that he never mistrusted Chantel. He said that when she would party and go out with her friends or whatever, he never distrusted her. Pedro says that Chantel is a super jealous woman and says she always was jealous all the time. And Pedro, you gave her plenty of reason because I wouldn't want my husband with another woman dancing all up on her the way you were dancing up all on Karima. I wouldn't want my husband doing that. So that was wrong. Pedro says, you don't want to talk to me and I don't want to talk to you. Pedro, you called her. So what the hell are you talking about? You don't want to talk to her. But where's my chair? Chantel says the chair is gone with a big Kool-Aid smile on her face. <laughs> Girl, you're so devious. Pedro says that he loved that chair. And Chantel said, you love that chair more than you loved me. And Pedro says, that's BS. He says he loved the chair as much as he loved Chantel. Um, that's still not the right answer, Pedro. Well, the chair's gone. Okay, my love is gone too. Pedro says that Chantel knew how much love he had for that chair, but she doesn't care. And from Chantel, you can only expect childish behavior. She hasn't matured yet to be a real woman. If that's the case, you're not a real man, Pedro, because you need to, you have a lot of growing up to do your darn self. Pedro says Chantel puts only herself first. So he says to Chantel that she's so petty to try to get him deported, to try to ruin his life, to try to ruin his career. Pedro then tells Chantel, evil never wins. Then you're never going to win then, Pedro. Okay. Chantel says to Pedro, 
what do you what do you want calling my phone you just wanted to ruin my day huh and she just clicks the phone and hangs up on him Chantel says that she's been on edge since she saw Pedro and she feels like every time she talks to him she's gonna slip back and back further from healing she's here in the scene with destiny her divorce papers and all that jazz Destiny's making sure all her paperwork is there for her and Chantel tells us that she's going to get her name changed so Karen is over here doing some type of martial arts Okay, and I'm convinced that TLC be writing some stupid scripts. And I'm also convinced that Karen needs a psych console because what the hell. So Chantel says that it's going to feel so liberating to claim her last name back. And how she basically says it's a burden to carry the last name of your ex-husband. Knowing that every time she has to sign her name, she's reminded of her painful divorce. And she's ready to get rid of it. Karen says that she does Naihanchi Shodan. And she says that it's a form of self-defense. It helps her to stay focused on her enemies. What? Karen, I have better things to do than stay focused on these hoes who don't like me, who I don't like, okay? I don't think about them. I don't worry about them. I'm definitely not focused on my freaking enemies. Like, please. Karen says that her protective energies are surrounding Chantel and her family because she can feel that her family is under attack and she has to protect them at all times, especially Chantel, from negative vibrations. Now, after that fake ass martial arts scene that TLC wrote the script for and told her to do, probably paid her extra for it. So stupid. She finally decides to bring them the pen to sign this name change papers, okay? So she thanks Destiny for being there for Chantel and she tells us that she told Chantel seven years ago not to take Pedro's last name, but Chantel was blinded by love. And she says that her changing her last name is going to be part of her healing and she's finally taking that step forward. She says she's had it up to here with seeing how hurt Chantel is. Karen says nine months ago, Pedro says this meant war. And here she is copying a fake because it's nothing but fake Spanish accent. You sound so stupid, Karen. And you're really, really, really pissing me off with that. And that's why I will never take y'all side. And that's just wrong. And I wish you would stop. It's very, it's coming off racist. I don't like it. Girl, you need to work on that. Because your focus and your energies are focused on the wrong thing. Your focus and energy on your enemies and all this stuff. Your focus needs to be on your child and comforting her during this time. That's what you need to be doing. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to talk too much about Lydia and her uh, daughter, Nicole, because they're both annoying to me. Okay. Um, I, Karen's very annoying to me, but unfortunately, the show is called The Family Chantel, but this is not called The Family Pedro. Okay anyway we're here in the dr told y'all i cannot say those two words without sounding stupid so i'm not going to lydia is getting her hair done and ma'am i don't know why you think we care about any of this but i'm gonna tell y'all anyway i'm gonna talk really fast i'm really sorry because i just want to get through this okay i'm just trying to get through this anyway lydia is getting her hair done and telling the hairdresser that she trusts oh so much about the lion from the wizard of oz coming back into her life i'm sorry i mean i meant scott that's what i meant to say Okay, or is it Beast from Beauty and the Beast? That's what he reminds me of. But anyway, uh, next scene, because I'm over it. So now Pedro's back visiting the DR, and he says it's so nice to be home. He knows the family Chantel are 1,000 miles away, and he says it feels free without them being there. He says that they always would come and try to protect Chantel, and it was always the same thing, problems. Here with his cousins, his sister, and his mom at some bar. In this scene, you have Pedro's mother and sister being creepy as hell, trying to get Pedro some fresh coochie. Gross. And I'm not sure why Lydia felt the need to tell us, again, because Nicole told us the same thing last week about Pedro, that Pedro was a virgin prior to Chantel. And Lydia says, and I'm about to cringe, so I'm really sorry if, it, if you hear cringe in my voice as I say this line that I'm reading here, because I write my stuff down. Lydia says to... Lydia says Chantel ate a brand new cookie. Oh, oh God. Is this how you refer to your own son, Lydia? I can't imagine talking about my kids like that. And I don't care how old they are. Gross. Again. So Nicole wants Pedro to go on a blind date with a random friend. We all know who that random friend is. Her name starts with a C. Ends with an A. Just saying. So Lydia tells Pedro about the cowardly lion. Sorry, guys. I'm real sorry. I'm real sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, Scott. 
The only thing I agree with Nicole about is that Scott is trash, um, but you guys have something in common and trash can read trash. Pedro tells his mother to have some self-respect. So Pedro tells us that his mom deserves love, but he doesn't know this guy and he's not good news. He said he had a lot of going on with his divorce, but all the details about Scott and the situation with his mom, hearing it is shocking to him. Okay, um, lastly in this last scene, um, for some reason, the, this divorce is final, but Karen decides she's going to get a private investigator and Thomas the parrot is going to go along with her. Why not? So TLC, I know you, I know you probably did this too. You probably threw this and threw this in there and paid for it and all that. You're probably the one that always does these little fake private investigator segments. I don't trust TLC. They'd be lying. They lie too much. They quote, hire this private investigator to get dirt on Pedro. To do what with Karen? Are you suing him? Are you taking him to court with this information? What are you doing with the information once he finds it? Karen, you need to grow the hell up. Thomas, you need to grow some balls. Um, both of you need to put all your efforts into comforting Chantel and making her, you know, help her to move on past this situation emotionally. Thank God my mama is not childish like this lady. Okay, this lady is so annoying, I swear. I, I just feel like she's going to get more annoying. Is this what you guys were watching? Um seasons one through three because there's a reason why i didn't watch those shows it wasn't by accident she just was she was annoying to me then and she's still annoying now karen says pedro used their daughter for seven long years he got money he got a green card and he got access to the entire american economy well that part's not no lie okay anyway but the buck stops here and ma'am so does mine because i'm done with this review i'm over it okay i'm completely over it anyway guys that is the end of my recap i hope you enjoyed it my little commentary remember this channel is recaps only if you want a channel that is uh, playing the entire television show there's plenty of channels that do that i'm not trying to get any um blocks or bands on my freaking channel so i appreciate you watching my channel and uh your next video for the family chantel will be posted the next recap will be on wednesday and i uh, will be doing this every wednesday and i will be incorporating other shows during the week so you will be getting more than one video during the week it's just that i'm just trying to get my life together i just came back okay i just came back doing recaps and i caught a show from the beginning and uh, all the other shows i want to do are like episodes and episodes behind but i promise you this will not be the only show i'm recapping on this channel anyway guys thank you so much for watching my channel make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video Bye.